Labrīt, good morning. Godāti kolēģi, ciemiņi, dāmas un kungi. Good morning, dear guests, colleagues and ladies and gentlemen. It's really a happy event today. We are coming together to speak about our large project, about what we have made and what we are thinking for the future and how to how to, I should say, already survive and how to go ahead and to be very, very valuable partners for Europe and such area as well as for welfare of Latvia. And I have obligations, first of all, to say some greetings from, uh, from our honored, honored uh, supporters from our parliament. They are, they are having session now, but they are sending greetings to us as well as from Minister of Economics, uh, Dana Reznets. She is also, because she is in space sector as a professional, she is also very welcome us in this meeting and as well as uh, wish us success for future. And now I pass floor to our chair of the scientific committee, uh, Professor Andrei Silinch, for some welcome words. Good morning, everybody, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure, first of all, to greet you from, on behalf of the Latvian Council of Science and Latvian Academy of Science, where we are now uh, taking part, where you are taking part in this meeting. Uh, you see, this size of uh, activities in science are very important are coming more and more important in our days. I just uh, last week uh, was invited to Vienna to take part in a uh, uh, high level workshop and general meeting on Science Europe. Uh, Science Europe is unity of uh, all the councils of uh, uh, every uh, uh, every nation in, in the European Union. And then there turned out that uh, if we would like to have in Europe high level and competitive innovation, it could be and must be based only on very high level uh, research. Re very high level research. Very high level research is the base for successful innovation. And that is what is going here in this project. This project, uh, main part is high level uh, research uh, done uh, by the funds, uh, by the money from European uh, Union, from uh, framework program. There is good connection with, uh, with, with uh, industry in our uh, country and also in uh, Europe in other, and mainly very good connection in science. There is very good consortium created uh, with, in this project with other uh, high-level scientists in other uh, institutions in Europe. That's one thing. Another thing is that uh, more and more important are uh, becoming so-called cross-border cooperation in science. And that is uh, correlated with the meeting just uh, last day, just some days before. Uh, our academies of science of uh, Baltic and Nordic countries, not only also Germany and, and uh, other countries, came together on uh, intellectual cooperation uh, conference. Uh, we uh, discussed about the history of science the development about the uh, futures and once more it turns out that uh, the other leg if you, we would like to tell for development for successful development in science and also in innovation is uh, good organized international cooperation cross-border cooperation because uh, Latvia especially and other small countries as all Baltic countries and uh, in some sense also Nordic countries 
are not able to develop all the fields in economy as, as strong as uh, the top level. In, in. We need to cooperate. We need to cooperate. We need to find out the best uh, knowledge and uh, the best innovators, uh, but they could be in different countries. But cooperation is the key, how, how to find out the way uh, to use, to use this knowledge which is uh, created somewhere and to, you, to use the possibilities, infrastructure, which could be in other countries. But uh, together that will help to, to fulfill under our, our aim or our task to be Europe as competitive as possible, because that is one of the great challenge for European Union as whole. Now, uh, telling that, I would like to uh, wish everybody a lot of success and to find out the strong points in this uh, project and to find out also the possibilities and challenges how to develop for the further in this very important way, the use of photons in our daily life. Thank you. Now I am happy to pass floor to our Vice Director of Science of the University. You are welcome. Yes. Uh, Arnold uh, Galnes organizers. Hello, good morning, all the participants of the project uh, final conference, and also our guests from uh, neighboring countries and uh, from the uh, DG who are like, taking part uh, here to see what has been done and what is still going on. on the course. So projects like this, they don't end with the final conference, they extend their influence beyond the project time frame and I hope that this project which has been implemented here for more than three years, we are already within the photonics LB, will have a permanent sustainable influence to and positive influence to the development of all this key enabling technology field for the University of Latvia and not only for the University of Latvia but for the Latvian research and development as a whole. Because yeah, it is also somehow symbolic this year is uh, considered to be the year of light uh, in science. So we are addressing uh, the light in very many of those experiences. We are talking about the light of education which is brought to us. We are about talking about light of um, uh, investigation of an endeavor. But, but the material basis, looking in any way, those are the photons, the the working particles which we have been investigating and which we have been trying to put in to some development, developmental in a relevant frame for three years in, and, and creating not only interesting research results, not only uh, uh, purchasing new important uh, and expensive uh, devices for research, but also creating uh, this uh, intellectual and, and societal basis for this use of uh, this research at the beginning, bringing together three research institutions within the University of Latvia, and by the end of project already having plans to extend this cooperation further on with uh, our regional universities, with our institutions outside the university. So, uh, what is also, to my understanding, a part of all those research and development uh, 
uh, outputs which has been which have been uh, achieved during the project. This uh, uh, influence to society, influence to the development of the university programs. Uh, since we are now this year is the year where we are reconsidering the structure of research at the university, and this project, of course, will be of very very important influence also to our future plans for next six five six years of uh, the research development i hope uh, that uh, here we shall see not only uh, the experienced researchers participating also the young ones who have been involved in the project implementation i hope that also our foreign partners from eastern neighbor eastern partnership countries from uh, also the baltic sea region countries which have been active during the project will have a word during those two days and i'm sure that uh, from the side of the university we shall do the best to uh, find out the means to support those partnerships and uh, cooperations which have been established because it is uh, of course one of our main goals to concentrate at the university towards the research fields which have shown their capacity and uh, towards the possibilities to internationalize our research which has been of course a part also of this development done here. Uh, we've been not always, this, the way how this project development has not always been easy because of different new challenges which we met and tried to tackle all together with uh, Arnold Zubels who was the enthusiastic and pushy uh, main <laughs> developer of this project with the help of Inge Schirand who brought uh, the project activities closer to those bureaucratical hurdles and the frameworks which have to be obeyed if we want to be successful. And uh, we learned a lot. We learned how to get back uh, the value-added tax from our authorities, which at the beginning of the project was a huge problem. We learned a lot how to invite and how to organize the payments from our uh, visiting researchers. Well, it was a uh, very interesting and useful uh, exercise from many points, from many aspects. I hope that uh, it's all what has been gained in research, in cooperation with the industries and in the learning more about the bureaucratical uh, ways of doing and coping with all those difficulties will be for all of us helpful that we will have uh, the possibility to exchange between among ourselves uh, those experiences which has been gained and that we will have a new very positive uh, impulses of light and enlightened <laughs> impulses for our further development during those two days we are now together in the building of Academy of Science just again symbolizing that this project has grown out of the university and now it has another national already dimension. So all the best for your work and welcome also to visit the university, not staying only here. <laughs> Thank you.